worked here last year, his name is Victor, who actually donated all of the player uniforms to help get the league started. Let's get to know the program and some of its players. We've actually been playing here every Sunday. Then we just started having a league because we wanted to get it a little bit more competitive and have a little bit more fun, you know, have it organized. It's been pretty fun lately. I've played soccer since, I mean, I'm from Yemen, so soccer is the only sport over there. Coming to America was like when, was when I got to find out about football and baseball and all the other sports. And I did try those, but soccer's always been, you know, something that I really love to do. I guess you could say I've been playing it for the last 15 years. I've been playing soccer all my life since I can walk up and kick in a ball. At first it was a little bit of a struggle getting to like know how to play because it's I'm not used to playing futsal but um, with time like people kind of help you out a little bit and you, you start to learn how to play really good. The league just started a few months ago and we only worked down to three teams because we have a shortage this year. It's been really fun like we have new people and we're making new friends. For the league we play like a certain number of games and we keep coming down to like um, we count up how many points each team has and how many goals that type of thing and then eventually we'll have a championship. The last two, like first and second place team, they'll play for a championship. Teams like this are important because they bring people together. You make new friends, you keep yourself like in shape, and it's just fun to play soccer. It's so much fun. Honestly, I wish there were a lot more girls that would come play here. Usually there's only like myself and another person, but I think it really shows that um, women can also play. It doesn't have to be just girls or just guys like and it's all about like showing like that women have as much talent as the guys and can even you know do guys and all that. I've been playing since I was about three so basically all my life. My family's from Brazil so that's like a major like that's like food to Brazilians like everyone always plays soccer and I like in my blood. I'd say soccer is like my passion like it's the one thing that I'm so happy when I do and like whenever I do it I can really be creative with myself and just you know I don't have to think about any problems I'll just go on the field and play. I live here in the community in Torrance um, and I'm a member here at the Y and I saw that they have a soccer league um, and I love playing soccer so I just thought I would join. Since I was about five years old I've been playing soccer. So it's, um, it's actually a combination of futsal and indoor soccer because we actually play the walls in bounds. Um, but the end lines we play out of bounds. Um, and it's fun because it's fast paced and there's less players so you actually get more touches on the ball than you would in a normal outdoor game. Whether you're, you're fairly new to the game or you've been playing for a long time, everyone here is really friendly um, and you'll have a really good time playing. I think these programs are really important for the community because I think as we move on as a society with digital media, um, there's less human interaction. And playing in a league, whether it's soccer, basketball, volleyball, whatever that is, having that social interaction with other humans, um, I think is important because um, I think we start to lose that a little bit as a society.